So guys, a massive patch landed today, the 1.04 patch, and today we get into the main parts of it, where you will see all on screen. I don't want to read through it all because we'll be here for literally about half an hour, but there's some major, major changes. We will cover the most, well, the important ones, but let's get into it, guys. How's it going, people? My name is DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out, and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this patch is out now. It's the 1.04 patch for Elder Ring and it includes some major major changes some buffs many many buffs as well some definitely new builds are going to be made and i cannot wait to jump back on okay some major changes including the latest update additional elements added add an option to turn camera auto rotate function on and off added some event phases for the npc patches Okay, so we're going to quickly sort of cover these balance adjustments because there's a major change is increased to colossal weapons, which I think will make many, many, many people experiment further on in the game with these kind of weapons. Me personally, haven't even thought about these. I'm still loving my rivers of blood, but hey, there's definitely some amazing weapons out there undiscovered, and I guess these will bring a lot of them to light. So increase colossal swords uh, and colossal weapons attack speed and lower their recovery time jump attack not included increase their two-handed attack damage of colossal swords colossal weapons uh, jump attacks not included increase physical block rate and guard boost of the colossal sword colossal weapons great swords great hammer great axe great spear and halberd weapon classes increase the damage of the grafted blade great sword increase the damage of the devourer scepter Decrease the scaling of status effect build up from spells and incantations by Bionic Staff and the Dragon Communion Seal. Decrease the effect of the Great Shield Talisman for weapons with high block rate. Uh, shorten the length of the Madness uh, Afflicted animation. Lower the speed of Madness build up recovery and slightly increase focus points and stamina growth at lower levels. Not bad. Now, players will need to perform any of the following actions for the changes to be reflected. This is only required once new characters are created after this update will not require this action. Existing players you need to either level up, activate Godric's Great Rune, re-equipping any equipment, armor or talisman which grants uh, bonus stats to either strength, dexterity, vigor, endurance, intelligence, faith or arcane. Uh, other enemy and weapon balance changes. Now that's important and it's probably going to affect many weapons that people ain't going to realize about. Now this actual patch, these patch notes don't mention anything about the Rivers of Blood. But I got a funny feeling they may have changed it, but I'll get on and test that in a quick second. But yes guys, there's plenty, plenty of changes here. We can see some now to the um, Sorcery and Incantations. These are upward adjustments and there's quite a load of these guys. If you want to pause the video and read through these on screen, you can. But there's only a few that I do want to actually point out and talk about. These two here, the Oka Bubbles, increase cast speed and decrease recovery time, which is an actual thing they've changed on many incantations and uh, spells. And also the Great uh, Oracular Bubble as well, increase cast speed and decrease uh, recovery time. These are two actual uh, things I actually enjoy using, so I cannot wait to try these back out. But there's absolutely tons of things here, guys. I mean, there's been an absolute crazy increase in regards to builds now and what's possible and what's actually going to be efficient, which is what I love to see. We also see as well Rani's uh, Dark Moon and Renella's Full Moon. These have also had their increased cast speed and uh, decreased recovery time applied to them. They should be quite good now as well. Now we can see upward and downward adjustments. Adula's Moonblade decreased the power of a single cast and improved performance so that the blade and the thrust hit more consistently and continuously increase cast speed at lower dexterity. I mean, this could be quite good now. Flame fall upon them, decrease the damage of single cast and improve the performance so that it hits the enemy multiple times. And it decreased the FP cost to use this, not bad. And Howl of Shabiri, decrease the madness build up on the enemy. Increase cast speed and decreased recovery time. Nice. Downward adjustments, guys. Swarm of flies. Decrease blood loss build up on enemy. This is bound to happen. I think we all saw this coming. The flame of frenzy. Decrease madness build up on enemy. Pretty sure we knew this was coming too. And frenzied burst. Decrease madness build up on enemy. So weapon skills, we can see there's quite a few here, guys. Again, if you want to pause the video and read through them all, you can. The ones I want to point out and talk about are Sacred Blade, I mean, increase the cast speed of this. You know what this means, guys. You know what this means. For all you rune farmers out there, this is great news. 
we see nebula increase cast speed and decrease recovery time for the weapon uh, with the weapon so bastard stars which is still great nebula is great on this weapon too it's not one thing we see many people talking about because nebula is on another weapon too can't remember it now off the top of my head but either way also uh, see a magma increase cast speed and decrease recovery time added a window to roll during the attack to cancel the animation that's pretty cool guys now we're going to upward and downward adjustments, thunder cloud form, decrease damage when not charged, decrease FP cost, increase cast speed and decrease recovery time. So bug fixes guys again, there's quite a few things here, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people have experienced, but there's a couple I do want to talk about again. But if you do want to pause the video and read through them all, you can. Fix a bug where the damage of inescapable frenzy was affected by the right hand weapon. Fix the bug where the damage of the weapon arts carrying retaliation was increased by weapon and status and the effect was not displayed correctly during online multiplayer this was so annoying guys i'm pretty sure you will agree going into online multiplayer this was just a real real issue and i'm hoping i'm hoping i haven't tried it myself i'm pretty sure someone will confirm this but i'm hoping that has cleared up the nonsense that was going on within multiplayer with this korean retaliation fixed the bug that allowed unauthorized items to be passed to other players i'm not sure what these are but i'm pretty sure it has something to do with the lord runes maybe i know a lot of people were duping the heck out of these making themselves multi multi million hairs uh, just duping these over and over so this could be them we will see this is actually a decent uh, fix as well added a protective barrier of Millicent after helping her and Mikhail is Halig tree so she cannot be unintentionally killed I mean they need to add a barrier earlier on as well guys because I accidentally well, I didn't kill her the, a dog came and attacked me and killed her which is so annoying but I know at the very end of this quest line while she's lying next to that Orion river you can actually like, just step on her and kill her and it just ruins the whole quest which is just bizarre so yes i'm glad there's a barrier being added there it's about time to be honest fix that bug that could sometimes prevent players from duplicating remembrances that they're walking molosseums yes i had this issue as well glad that's fixed also fix that bug where the damage of the iron great sword was lower than expected when an affinity is applied that could be quite a beast now guys not even gonna lie to you i didn't even notice that but hey there's also added other performance improvements and bug fixes which are not listed here what we'll say is as well guys i'm kind of disappointed we see no fixes or no basically ways to resolve the ways around people afk farming ruins in pvp this is just so annoying it's unbelievable i'm hoping within the next patch they put something out there which allows us to basically just get these dudes get these targets hunt these down uh probably block out these afk spots they are finding i don't know guys i don't know but they're seriously annoying either way and they are ruining pvp in my opinion also i know a lot of people will be saying about the rivers of blood uh, and a few other katanas why they ain't received a nerf i think the way from software are going about this is they're buffing other things around said op weapons which is a good thing in my opinion don't nerf things into the ground buff other things up to said level which is what i like to see so yeah but yeah guys there we have it again if you want to go back through the video pause it and read through the entire list there's tons here guys be my guest but guys there we have it let me know your thoughts down below if you found anything not listed here that has changed also let me know but guys i do appreciate you stopping by uh, my code has got a little better as you can probably tell by my voice so plenty more out of videos to come so stay tuned but guys thanks as always for stopping by if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully people i will see you on that next one